Hello. You may know already that Microsoft Word offers a handy shortcut for typing a horizontal line which stretches right across the whole document. Simply pressing hyphen three times and then pressing enter creates a rather nifty fancy horizontal line. That's great, but how on earth do you get rid of it? You would think that pressing backspace would get rid of it, but it doesn't. It just pops it further down below. Uh, what about if you type just before it and press delete? Nope. Again, that horizontal line just heads straight down to the paragraph below. You can't highlight it. You can't delete it. How on earth do you get rid of that horizontal line? In this video, I'm going to show you the quick way of getting rid of that horizontal line, no matter how long it's been there. So if you've ever been tempted to create a horizontal line, uh, either by typing three dashes or three equals marks, and you've created that line, but you've decided later on you want to get rid of it, you might well have found the frustration that many people have, uh, that it does not seem to be possible to get rid of it. You can't delete it because it just pops down to the paragraph below. Um, you can't select it. All you can do if you were to click on it is to drag it up and down. Uh, but that's not what you want either. So how do you get rid of that horizontal line? Well, here's the secret. It's not really a line. It's not a line that you've drawn and that therefore you can select, like a picture, for example. What it actually is, is a border. It's a border, a bottom border, if you like, below this section of content. Now, once you start to think of that line as a border, not as a line, the solution becomes fairly easy. Simply click right above or right below that line. And then on the Home tab, come along to the borders button, this one here, and what you need to select is no border. Click that, and like magic, that line has vanished. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please consider rating this video a thumbs up, possibly sharing it with other people if you think that they might find it useful as well. And of course, it'd be fantastic if you would subscribe. More useful tips like this, and I hope to see you in the next video.